Hi everybody, it's Bobby Joe, and welcome to my home. Hello. I'm here with another project share. Um, as you probably know, um, if you're you're you've been with me a while, this isn't exactly something I've done very often. So I'm hoping you will forgive me and also forgive Mario mowing the lawn um, <laughs> as well. Anyways, um, I have my niece's project here that I've been working on for, I have to have 40 hours into it at least. So um, I want to show it to you and we'll start with the box itself. So um, on the box there's a couple of different things. So the theme is mermaids and unicorns. Um, and I got this paper pad from the Hot Buys in, I'm going to try to get you guys a little bit better in the screen here. Um, I got it as the, um, the Hot Buys in um, at Michael's, so it's not a very expensive set, but I really like um, some of the things I had in it. And also, I got some of the uh, things in it, different things around the box in it. So I'm just going to pull this open, uh, this part open, so that we can see what's on them, and try not to do the big reveal until later. So um, this is the other side. Uh, there's mermaid, some things. These are um, um, pieces from uh, the sticker section in, in um, or embellishment se section in Michael's as well. So you can buy those usually with your um, with your coupon, so they're not too expensive. This is another one that was found in Michael's. And this is all embossed with my embossing folder, um, showing stars and whimsical things. And then there's another, another um, mermaid. So on top, just basic little little thing that she, she can either take off or she can whatever a puffy thing these little hearts I think I got from Lynn Wilson at some point um, but this little uh, cute little thing here isn't that sweet it um, is from one of the embellishment sex uh, uh, um, section finds in uh, Michael's so, of course, you're going to pull up, she's going to pull up on this. Everything drops down. I don't know if you see that well, I hope. Um, so everything drops down, and then it, there's things to go through until the cows come home. So the, you are um, magical, and then she's got a little um, thing in here that I put a happy birthday on. Hoping you guys are seeing okay. No, I don't think you are. Okay, let's try that again. There. So, there's a little slot here that she had um, that has um, a little tab coming out. And that little tag comes out and it says happy birthday with a little gem on it. Um, I think those came from... Lynn Wilson as well. I just modified them to the size. And then opening this section, I'm just going to move the begin one in the way. The, opening that section, you're seeing the Simply Perfect. And inside, together we are an ocean. And I've made little, um, little markers for her in here. So she's got a unicorn, a couple of unicorns and um, some more of those hearts for her, and I just tuck those in. Next we've got another mermaid here. 
um, this behind and this background, this shell background, came from another um, um, paper pad that I had um, for a while now. And it came with this and then I took, it had a, a kind of a circle um, tag in it. I just took that, cut it out with my, um, cut it out with my frame and framelit and uh, then put the girl in after cutting her out. This is from a die that I got. I got this die off of Amazon, paid way more than I, like, I love the die. I don't regret it, but you can find this die on Joom, J-O-O-M dot com and it's for like five six dollars there now this is a little compact that I got her in Michaels so just a simple one my mother said that she really liked hers so uh, I guess I made a good choice all right so in here also if you I, you pull up Tina App gave me um, these tags, um, and I thought they were better, like a really good addition to this because of the coloring involved. So I just kind of stuck those in there, wanting to give her something to to play with. So um, turning around, my washi tape came undone but I gave her the rest of the stickers um, that I had from the set that uh, had the dream big. I made these envelopes out of um, well by hand. I don't have an, an envelope punch as much as I would love to have one. Um, I don't want to pay for it if I can do it by hand. <laughs> It's as simple as that. I just don't want to buy it um, if I can get away with doing it by hand. And I don't think they came out too bad um, for my, like usually I have trouble with the envelope part, but I'm practicing still, so maybe practice makes perfect. <laughs> um, if you pull out this little one, it says you are something wonderful. Again, it's from the paper pad itself. This is one of the embellishments, the other sets. I had two sets of um, unicorn embellishments. And then if you open this, um, you'll see my... Um, the um, uh, mermaid. I, <laughs> this is a lot of work and I'm still not happy with the result, but I'm hoping it looks like she's sitting on a pearl, I guess. It's my hope. Maybe if you want to see her. <laughs> I don't know, maybe, I don't know. That's what I was going for anyways. Um, if you open wider, you'll see that I've got some stickers there that Tina Epp gave me um, that were absolutely beautiful. I just cut the white off around them. I just fussy cut the white off and they're beautiful. I love them. Um, if she pulls out here, um, it says sparkle wherever you go. Hoping you're seeing this. Um, and then she has a, another one that she can write on which is hooray. And if we keep going on the back of that, I've got a little 10 for her on what she's turning. And Mermaid at Heart, some gems down. And this is a die cut that I have, again, from the Joom uh, app. And I think I paid four bucks for the set of three. There's three of them. There's the... You get four out of it because you get the inner um, uh, heart, you get this heart, and then you have two other heart, uh, hearts that are have the stitch around them. So, again, hoorays um, and other things coming coming out. And then this is a fussy cut unicorn. I'm gonna try to turn this around so that you can see it. Well, it's 
sorry. So um, there's a fussy cut unicorn from the set. Um, and there's these sayings, ride a unicorn, swim with mermaids, chase a rainbow. And there's some uh, list things she can do in there and some little notepads with the mermaid on top and things like that. So just little things for her. She loves that stuff. Um, pulling up on um, behind this, if I pull up on it, it's a little thing. You are better than unicorns and sprinkles and this is why. And I just listed her smile, your laugh, you are kind, you are smart, you are so cute, you make people laugh, you care about animals, and you are you. So that pretty much sums her up in my eyes anyways. Um, I'm sure she drives her mother nuts at some point. <laughs> But anyway, so um, keeping on turning. Okay, so this one right here, um, what I did is I took, it's again, it's part of that set um, with the, with the, um, sorry, the heart. Um, these are the two hearts it comes with, but this comes as a solid one. So what I did is I took this one and then put the smaller one inside it just to have a different kind of heart. So you can see the variables about that set. And all it is is, well, I can show you actually the set. It's um, like this. And... Um, yeah, that's all it is, and this comes out solid, and I just put that one in that one. Um, I put a little bit of sparkle around the corner here. The paper, again, its background paper is the um, paper pad. If she go in here, she has her name and a little kind of brad with a little heart in it. And flipping that one up. Again, this is um, me putting my, um, I have a, a set that is um, nesting set for my, for my circles. So I just took a couple of those, some of the paper that was shiny, added it to it. And then this is from the uh, mermaid embellishment one that I got um, from Michaels. Again, Tina Epp have a couple of her, uh, one of her um, tags in there. And then I have some of the set and then a couple of pearls. In here I have, um, well, of course you see the, the unicorn. And then I just bought these small little um, pens at uh, the Dollarama and I thought they would be perfect in that little spot. I'll flip them upside down so the ink goes the right way. Um, <laughs> so anyways, that's um, again this is all part of the set. This here is a punch that I have. Um, I don't use it often. I find punches hard um, but I did do a little bit. It's kind of a, uh, you go along the edges with it. And I got that off of Kijiji at one point. Um, turn around just one more time here. And we're going to see, these are some of the, those same stickers. Um, just put in there for her with the fabulous... There's another slot here. Um, I could put something in there, but it's not necessary. And then um, opening it here, you've got the fish over on this side with the, uh, and that's from Tina Epps set that she uh, sent me. 
And then we've got the happy birthday um, cut out in a banner. I just kind of raised some of these and not. These again came from a set that I picked up a while back in regards to uh, mermaids and um, the sea. I, I got it from my father's uh, stuff because he's a sailor, so naturally I get a lot of it. <laughs> um, anyways, it's um, I just kind of raised three of them just for definition. In here, uh, mermaids have the most fun. Again, that's from that other paper pad. Opening it up, I just did. I didn't wasn't sure what I wanted there, so I went with my gut. Um, in here, though, there is still, if she goes in, she can pull these mermaids, have the best one. She can pull this off. She's got the mermaid off duty. Um, and then she, I fussy cut a little mermaid in there, and um, I put some things like mermaid at heart stuff like that in it just for her to have something to play with um, and then let me see here this one here is um, I, I, this is just to hold some things and I put the last um, uh, mermaid in there there's just some sayings in there and some little pieces that she can write on that I tucked in there. Um, what I did for this paper is I just weaved paper. Um, that's a technique I love doing because it's enjoyable to do and at the same time it looks good. Um, so also from the paper pad it's nice to sparkle it might nice sparkle you've got there and find your own rainbow so I thought that uh, fit her well this little bow was um, is a die cut and uh, it's something that I obtained from uh, Lynn Wilson at some point and um, the little button is something that I picked up in Dollarama, I'm not sure they even still have them, but they're they're um, on the back of them. They've got some adhesive, and then if she pulls out this one here, it says "Stay Magical," and that's from that uh, same set. So that is the the basic project. Um, I did make this. A similar one for my mother for her birthday, um, her 70th, but it was more personal. Um, this one's personal, but it, my mother's was more, more so, <laughs> I guess. Um, and then in here, I just had picked this up at Michael's, um, and I got her a little bracelet, and it says to be kind. And I got her this little bracelet as well with um, some gems on it. So I thought it was really cute. And it just comes apart with a magnet. I thought that was really easy for her. She's getting older and she can do this stuff more, but it's, it's great that they had something easier for her. This little thing just came from the Dollarama at some point. Um, it's just sequins with um, the large shell sequins. I just put it on the on top. Easy peasy. So, anyways, that's that's what I've got. So if you um, endeavor to do this. Please, if you want to contact me, I can send you the link of the one that I use because mine um, is done with 12 by 12 paper. Um, there's some that are larger online. So, um, but if you are interested in wanting to do your own, 
please let me know and I can uh, send you the link that I use. Um, the lady is very, very uh, good at showing us how to make them. And they look complicated, but they're not. Because once you get the basic base, um, once you have the base, you just decorate it like miniature cards is, is the basic thing. You just need to make sure that it can close up with your, with your thing. And with my mother's, I didn't use this ribbon. I just thought this would be a little bit, makes it sound a little bit cuter. But, um, yeah, my mother's, I didn't have it. I just left the cover on. And that was it. So, and you can make them like with the, with the windows and stuff. It, it, there's so many things you can do with it. But if you want the basic video of the lady that started it, uh, for me anyways, please feel free to uh, comment below and I will definitely get that sent to you. Um, or or we'll comment with the... Um, actually, you know what? Let's make it simple. I will put the video down <laughs> below. <laughs> that just dawned on me I could do that. So down in the comments below, take a look at the video and um, I'm telling you it's easier than it looks. It, it really is. So thank you for watching everybody. Bye.